everything is connected, right? The oceans are connected to the atmosphere, is connected to the land surface, is covered, is connected to the to the sea ice, is connected to the land ice. You can't really change one part of the system without also changing most of the other parts of the system. Yeah, you could imagine that as something like a domino effect. So for instance, if the Greenland ice sheet starts to melt, that puts uh, salt-free fresh water into the ocean, and the ocean currents actually function by a distinct difference between salt and non-salty water, therefore meaning if you have salt-free freshwater coming into the North Atlantic, that would slow down Atlantic Ocean currents such as the Gulf Stream. And by that, prohibiting um, that warm waters from the Gulf of Mexico is transported further north, even north of Greenland. So that actually means that there is, on the first hand side, a direct impact through these interacting tipping elements, but also far-reaching consequences, because that means if the warm waters doesn't reach up to the North Atlantic, then it stays in the Gulf of Mexico, and by that can also endanger parts of the Antarctic ice sheet, and in particular the Western Antarctic ice sheet, where some researchers have stated already a couple of years ago that parts of Western Antarctica might actually already have crossed the tipping point and now be on track um, of flowing into the ocean, in particular due to warmer ocean temperatures.